She's back, New Zealand Women's Day numerologist Michelle Buchanan is back to answer your questions. This one is for all members of the Lonely Hearts Club. It's all about love, although in the last segment I said we were going to talk about July, didn't I? Yeah. Which we kind of already talked about in oh, the yeah. last segment. So we're going to talk about love here. Yeah. And somebody sent an email in. Yeah. I've been single for nearly 18 months and I'm sick of it. I'm feeling lonely and would really like to meet someone. Do my numbers say whether I will find love? My birth date is the 8th of the 2nd, 1978. Her name is Selena and she's from Whangarei. Well, the good news is for Selena is that there are plenty of opportunities coming for Selena for love, okay? Especially towards the end of the year and next year. But here's the thing. Whether that love evolves into long-lasting, you know, healthy, mutually loving relationship or yeah. not is dependent on several things that Selena will need to do. And this, these four things I'm going to talk about, they apply across the board for anybody out there really? that is looking for love. Okay. Okay, now these four things are very important. Number one is the first thing you need to do if you're looking for love is you need to make peace with being single. Okay, you need to make peace with the fact that here you are on your own, not yet in love, and you need to accept that and get over that and get on with life and enjoy yourself and life. Love yourself. Maybe. Love yourself. That's the next thing oh, that leads sorry. me. No, that leads me into number two because they do go side by side, don't they? Mm -hmm. Number two, it's really true what they say that no one else can truly love you until you love yourself, mm -hmm. because. Here's the thing, you get what you feel about yourself. You attract into your life experiences and people that will affirm or confirm back what you already believe about yourself. Mm. So if you want others to love you, you need to love yourself first. Mm. If you want to attract uh, somebody that will love you unconditionally, warts and all, you need to love yourself unconditionally, warts and all, first. Right. And that's why accepting that you're single and making peace with that and making the most of it. Hey, this could be the last time in your entire life you would be single mm. instead of wishing it away you need to embrace that okay right. and love yourself and focus on the good things about yourself even as it's something small such as hey I'm a great cook or yeah. I'm a really loving partner focus on the good points okay what's the third thing the third thing is you need to look at what your beliefs are what are your beliefs about love if you believe that all the good ones are taken there's no one out there for you you know I'm too old um, they only, oh yeah, they only like the youngies. It's negative. You're bringing negative thoughts, and well, you? you are. Well, you're attracting those direct experiences. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you need to believe there's plenty of opportunities out there. They just haven't come to me yet because I haven't been in the right energy vibration. Okay. And, qu and quickly, the final one. Yep, the final one is to work on. Whatever it is that you want from another, you need to first of all be yourself. Yeah. So if you want someone that's honest, kind and loving, you need to be honest, kind and loving yourself to others and not just your friends and loved ones, right. everyone. So you need to be kind and friendly to the people on the, the checkout at Food Town. You know, be honest about all kinds of interactions in your life if you want to attract a, a faithful, honest partner. Michelle, great advice as always. I'm sure that answered Selena's questions. Thank yeah. you so much for chatting with us once Thank again today. You.